Okay, well, my name is David Palmer and I'm the Managing Director of Crystal Maker Software Limited. Uh, we're one of the smaller companies on the site, it's just three people plus a student. And we're not a university spin-out, which also means we're different. We're a small privately uh, owned company, but we are a sort of spin-out because I started off as an academic like many of the other people on this site. And I started developing software as part of my academic teaching. And that eventually took on a life of its own and became our own company, Crystal Maker Software Limited. So we're interested in the structures of crystalline materials. And we're interested in, by the structure, I mean the arrangement of atoms and chemical bonds that give individual materials their distinct properties. And the, the reason that we're interested in that is scientists need to be able to understand why different materials have particular properties. And we could be talking about something as simple as pieces of rock in the earth. Uh, and rocks are made out of crystals and crystals have unique shapes and unique properties. And it's through understanding those properties that we can identify those materials. And many materials are useful from a technological point of view as well. So it's not just a case of being able to identify materials, it's a case of being able to harness their properties for um, making new materials in the chemical industry or material science. And the properties that we might be interested in all ultimately relate to the internal arrangements of atoms and their chemical bonds. So we've developed software that allows scientists and engineers and students to be able to visualize those arrangements and to understand those materials and something about their properties. The Begbrook Science Park itself is a great place for small companies and larger companies to develop. Uh, it provides a range of flexible accommodation and uh, there's a whole range of buildings that can cater for different needs. So the building that my own company is located in, the Centre for Innovation and Enterprise, has a range of office and lab accommodation, which I think is quite unique. Um, in our own case, we were able to choose the type of office accommodation that we wanted. We wanted several rooms with connecting doors, which allows us to do everything that we need to do within the company. And if we grow, uh, there's plenty of space available if, if we need that. It's very flexible on the space. Um, the site provides lots of parking, so those of us who live in small rural villages can easily get to the site. And um, we have facilities, communal facilities, as a restaurant, and we have weekly coffee mornings, which means that we can get to meet some of the other companies on the site, including our own customers who are located on the site. And that's a great time where we can discuss things and uh, get ideas for improving products and just share, share, share solutions to, to common problems. So we find it's a very supportive environment and a nurturing environment. But it's not as limited as the kind of incubators that one might find at some science parks, which are really focused on taking small companies and then spinning them out after a few years. Here's a, a long-term environment where one can grow or stay the same size, um, and there is the flexibility to develop within that space with plenty of mentoring available and, uh, and business advice, both formal and informal. So I, I think overall the Begrit Science Park provides an extremely nurturing um, and flexible environment, and the small companies really do well in that kind of environment. We really enjoy the sense of community on the site and the fact that there is a focus on science and technology. It's not just another office park. There are plenty of those around, but this is fairly unique in having a, sp a specific focus on science and technology, and particularly uh, for us, um, there are so many materials related companies here. And to give you an example, uh, we, we have some of our customers on the site and they actually moved here knowing that we were on the site. So I suppose we were sort of a, a, a sign of approval and it means that we can interact very directly with customers just in the, in the, in the, when we're having coffee, for example. But it also means that there are, there's a knowledge base on the site. So we can uh, get advice, we can get feedback, we can answer questions. Uh, it keeps us on our toes. But it also means that uh, there's a very engaging um, sense of things happening here.